Hi, Virtual Thrive. Welcome to another video. Today is Tuesday, which means we're going to work on our key passage today. But before we do that, we're going to review our Bible study yesterday. So first, let's review. So in Bible study yesterday, we talked about a story where Jesus feeds 5,000 people with just five loaves. Now these loaves look a little bit different, but you guys get the points. He also had two fish. <laughs> and there were a bunch of people there with Jesus, and he was talking to and healing a lot of people. And there were so many people, in fact, that there were 5,000 men plus women and children. So there was a bunch of different people there. And all these people were very, very hungry. They had been there all day with Jesus, and they were tired and hungry, and they needed food. And Jesus loved these people, and he cared for them. So he took the five loaves of bread and the two fish that they had, and he multiplied them, and he made a ton of food out of the little bit that they had. And he provided food for the entire group. He gave food to all the 5,000 people, and when they were finished eating, they had 12 baskets of food left over. Jesus loved all of the 5,000 people that were with him, and he wanted to provide for them and to give them the food that they needed. And he also wants to provide for us. If we put our trust in Jesus, he promises to always help us and to provide what we need. All right, so that is what we talked about yesterday in Bible study, and now we are going to review our new key passage. So our key passage is from John. It is in chapter 11. It's verses 25 through 26, and this is a picture of the key passage we'll be working on. Let's try to memorize these verses, and if you guys do memorize them and you say it to us when we come visit you all, then we can celebrate that with candy or with another prize if you guys can remember every single word to these verses. Remember, the key passage is very important because we want to be able to remember what God says in his word and pay attention to what he's telling us in the Bible. Don't forget, guys, we're going to come visit you all in your houses today. We're going to bring you some fruits and some vegetables, and we're also going to work on the key passage with you guys. Well, that's all we have for today. We love you guys, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.